So the last time we talked about the file structure of this web API project. We talked about appsettings.json being a file where we have configurations that we can use in our application such as the connection string in the future. We talked about this uh, program.cs class, the void function, uh, the void main function calls this create host builder and it runs it which show the application which startup you are using and we also we also took a look at our functions here so here for example we have configure services this function is used to configure our services as we said previously and this configure function is used uh, to, to as a middleware so all these functions each one of these is a middleware itself and just to remind you what a middleware is each request that any client or user makes to the server each re request will be intercepted by all of these uh, middlewares before accessing or calling the API itself. We also explained uh, the route decoration that we use here and we said that if we add those square brackets then it would look at our class and the prefix before controller will be taken so here weather forecast is the route which will load which will call this API and the other route is get edge which will call this API we also said that there are many HTTP methods such as HTTP get HTTP post delete which I will be explaining in this video and before doing that I want to show you one more thing if you recall last time I opened this tab right here which you can access from this one here or you can double click on properties which will open this up so by default when we run our application as you will see it will use this secure uh, connection so it will run on HTTPS using this local host this port however when I was showing you uh, how this uh, app.use HTTPS redirection function works and how it redirects your HTTP uh, connection to HTTPS I try to run using this URL right here which uses HTTP, HTTP protocol instead of HTTPS and it uses a different protocol so based on that I want to show you one more thing that I forgot to show you last time here in the properties folder if you we open that up we have a file called launch settings.json in which you can notice two different servers inside of profiles so we have the first one which is IIS Express, which as you can see here, we're using right now. And the second one, which has the name of our web application project, which as you can see here, we have those two options. By default, by the way, if you asked yourself this, I don't know, why, uh, why or how does it know, how does the application knows that it should, it should run and launch this URL? How does it know this route? Why does it run it by default? Well, if we take a look here, we have a variable called launch URL that has the value of weather forecast. Let's say we replace that by something else and restart that. As you have noticed now, the launch uh, URL is different than the previous one because we changed it here. Now you need to keep in mind that these configurations here are in development environment only, only for development. So when you, pr when you create your application for production, those configurations will not be applied. Now, uh, if we look at our second server, we also have two different URLs, one that runs on the HTTPS protocol and the other one which is secure and the other one which runs on HTTP. So now if let's say we pick this one and we run, you can see as well that we have a console here so if we try to print anything to our console we will be able to see it using this server and as you can see here it used this port 5001 which is this one here for this server which is different from this one so I just wanted to let you know about this back to our APIs so first I want to explain the different HTTP method and secondly, I want to show you how to use a software called Postman, which we can use to call our APIs. So far, you have seen that we can call our APIs 
here on the browser using the URL but there's a better tool there's a software made for testing purposes to test our APIs which is called Postman which we will be using those are the most commonly used HTTP methods however there are more by the way uh, you need to know that a request has a URL a method which is the type of the request which is either get, delete, post, put and so on it has a body and a header so let's start with the HTTP get method you use, we, we use get requests whenever we need to retrieve data from a database we can also pass in query parameters so let's say we need a specific record from the database we would need to pass in uh, the ID value so this would be passed in the query param the query param is the one that you see in the URL HTTP delete is used whenever you want to delete data from a database of course you can also pass in the query param since we're deleting based on a specific parameter for instance based on the ID uh, HTTP post is used whenever we want to send data to a database so whenever you're trying to log in for example when you press on the login button you're sending the username and the password and keep in mind that the data sent in a post request is sent in the body of the request and not in the header nor in the url this is important and the http put is used whenever you're trying to modify an existing data so for example if you need to change or edit an existing record in a database you would use the put method You can install Postman from their official website. This is the software that I was talking about and we're going to be using. So I already have it here. So let's go ahead and start using it. If you recall here, when we start our application, this is the URL that we are using. I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to call it from Postman this time, not from my browser. So here I'm going to paste this and as we have talked earlier about the methods of the request this is a get request it's retrieving data now obviously we're not retrieving data from a server we're just uh, showing a small example we're not using a database yet we're going to be using a database in the third episode so keep watching now if we send this request as you can see it has responded with john doe and if you look here the status is 200 which means that it's successful there are many different types of uh, status codes now let's take a look here so this is the request it has a method which is this the method type we have a url we have parameters we have headers and we have a body let's say we had a post request and we needed to send data to the server we would go to raw and pick json here and we would send our data in json form uh, this is not a post request so we don't really need this we could have had params here for example id and we would pass in the value as you can see here this query param was added directly i'm gonna show you one more thing which is a post api so let's create a route first I'm gonna call it send data public void let's say send data and as you know it doesn't matter the name here we just use it uh, we but it's better to use meaningful names and then here we need data from the body so for that we're gonna open our brackets and type in from body and here for instance we can we could have um, an object a class for instance here we have weather forecast I'm gonna say person and I'm gonna say I'm gonna create two properties the first one which is the first name and the second one which, which is gonna be the last name and here 
I'm gonna say person P. So now this API will search in the body of the request because as I told you, when we send data in a post request, we do it inside the body of the request and not the header. And here what we could do is, for instance, uh, let's say console.write line p.firstName plus p.lastName. Now let's run our application. And in Postman, if we take a look here, we have our controller route, which is the main one here. And then we have our API route here, which is send data. So slash send data. This is a post request. So we need to change this get to post. And now here we need a body. Let's go to raw. Let's pick JSON. And here, let's say first name. I'm going to go with John. Let's go with last name. Though, now if we send this, if we open the console, as you can see, it printed John Doe successfully. So everything is working. Everything is as it should be. And we can also take a look here. We have status 200, which means that the request was successful. This was it for this video. If it was helpful, please uh, leave a like, subscribe. And in the next one, we're going to create our database use entity framework and yeah start getting data from the database and posting it to the database as well